Hello, Maritz here. Uh, in this video, we will analyze a, an expression we looked at on in a previous video, and I will use GeoGebra 6 for this. So let's start the software. The software is, by the way, free. I put a, will put a link on it down below. Uh, here we can write expressions like, for instance, y equals to x. No, x. It will go graph, but also stuff like y square uh, equals to x so you get something like this right so it can uh, draw a graph from a relation and that is what we will do now we will write the relation that we had that is 2 x to the power of the power of is um, to the power of and then right arrow to get down to the ordinary line equals to bracket x plus y divided by bracket x minus y. So that is the expression, the graph of the expression. And we will actually zoom in a bit here. Uh, this we are most interested in the middle part there because the rest of it just stretch, stretches out. Uh, we will kind of move it to the center there. So up there I have the tools to, to move about. Um, actually kind of zooming in a bit here, more here. Okay, and then we can move this one. So that is the expression we are examining. Uh, I'll hide that. And then we found the derivative of this. We took uh, implicit derivatives and we found two different expressions. And then in the end we directly we made y the subject and took derivative of that too which i didn't do in the video uh, i think you can try that yourself so the first expression we got uh, we can enter this here and we can use that using something called slope field and the slope field is basically um, little bars that will show you the direction uh, of the derivative at that point so if you have some y prime is some function of x and y the x and the y value uh, say we have x is 1 y is 0.5 it will calculate what a particular slope will be there and to do that we write slope and you can see slope field that is the command we will use there we'll write our expression i press the delete key uh, or not delete uh, uh, erase key um, so now i can ramp and enter expression here so for example right here at slope field i write one everything will be will now have a slope of one if i write x then everything will have the slope equal to its own value so we can see for example over here that along this here the slope is about one there the slope is zero there the slope is minus one and so on the expression we found for for the derivative because this is all slope field is y prime equals something uh, we write what y prime is equal to. The expression we found was, and I can start with the total division line, and then that was 6x uh, to the power of 2 minus 4x times y minus 1. So that is half of it. And then 2x to the power of 2, right arrow, uh, plus one. So this is the slope field for that one. And we will go in here and change the color of this one. So because we will draw more than one slope field. So if I go in uh, settings and I will change this color to say red. And then I will close this. Bam. Okay. Now we will enter the second uh, um, expression for y prime we found. So, slope field again, I erase that, and I can put, now I'll do it a little bit differently, I will put a bracket and start to write my numerator. So, 2x times bracket x minus y, right arrow to get out of the bracket, to the power of 
two right arrow to get out of the power off to plus y right and then right arrow to get out of bracket division line and you divide by x so this is our and okay go to the end of this and press enter so this was is our second slope field and as you can see it's quite similar here quite similar there quite different there quite different there quite similar over there we'll change the color of this of this too settings and color i will color this say blue okay so that makes it clearer to see the difference between the two in here at least oh i haven't thought about it at least it's not color line let's change this to green so red blue now red blue i don't know we keep this um i will hide these two and then we will enter the third solution and that was the direct derivative and if you've done that and simplified it you have probably found uh, this thing the erase key um, 4x to the power of 4 um, plus oh i need a bracket around that we will get a division line here i'm um, with the arrows there should be there plus 8x to the power of 2 and then right arrow minus 1 and then right arrow to get out of the bracket division line uh, bracket because we need to square this 2x to the power of 2 right arrow plus 1 right arrow to the power of 2 and the power of is the little hat, so the little hat symbol that will be in different places depending on keyboard you have um, enter and you get this slope field okay so we have three different slope fields uh, that one that one and that one so on what on earth then there's these the, these have to do with original equation let's put in the solution and you can see here that the slope field and the solution basically follow each other. So at that particular line, this is one possible way to express the derivative. Now let's check the second one. And we can see yet again, it follows this, curl around there, round there, and up again. So this is also a possible way to express this. And we go to the first one. And you can see the same thing there. So all of these three slope fields will be correct for this particular line. And all of these three will actually form what is called differential. And uh, each of them will be a differential equation. And a differential equation basically is an equation with derivatives in it. And in this case, we have y prime in all three of them. And for all three of them, this thing here will be a particular solution which mathematically is expressed as that we have a particular solution it's actually called that a particular solution we can see that we could make other solutions here for example if you follow the slope the field lines we will get something like going down like this if you go and so on here you get something that goes up rather quickly uh, if we take a look at the second one we have solution that solutions that seem to be going Kind of inwards here and then outwards and going upwards or coming in rather steeply there but then go down again and then something like this so you have other types of solutions this being one of them uh, and for the third one oh they just they seem to be the same as this but just shifted up and down and that makes sense since y prime was something only depending on x so the last one is, is the easiest one to solve if we get a question suppose you've got this y prime equals what are the solutions we will uh, look at this later on how to find uh, the solutions given uh, the differential equation but now we can basically just uh, go in here and take the derivative of that in different ways you would might get a lot of different expressions but all of them should if you've done your derivatives right be correct along that particular 
line. Hope this makes some sense. If not, if not, then sorry. No. Um, and as I said before, uh, if you are not confused when learning something, you haven't tried hard enough. So be stay confused, learn a lot. Ciao.